Nowadays, it's almost impossible to live in the world without noticing the various forms of sexual perversion around us. We are constantly exposed to sexually suggestive content on the internet and other media, making it difficult to guard our hearts against these influences. This flood of stimuli can lead many people to turn to masturbation as a way to relieve their tensions. Lust can dominate the mind to such an extent that many feel compelled to seek an outlet. If you're struggling with masturbation, this video is not here to judge you but to offer support and guidance. To understand the concept of liberation, it is essential to start with salvation. As believers in the death and resurrection of Jesus, one of the gifts we receive is freedom. Jesus paid the price so that we can be free and no longer slaves to sin. The sin mentioned here does not refer only to specific actions, but to the sinful nature that leads to those actions. By accepting the life of Christ, you become a new creation, and the sinful nature loses its grip on you. The Bible teaches us that anyone born of God cannot continue in sin. When you gave your life to God, you received His Holy Spirit, which means your spirit is completely free from sin. You may wonder why you still fall into sin if you no longer have a sinful nature. This is because, while your spirit is renewed by salvation, your soul still needs transformation. When you receive the life of Christ, your old memories and behaviors didn't just vanish. That's why you may still be vulnerable to the same temptations you faced before salvation. We need to actively collaborate with God to renew our minds. This is done through studying God's Word until it becomes our truth, gradually transforming our actions. The process of overcoming any addiction or sinful habit starts from within. Fighting just the actions is like cutting off the branches of a tree without removing its roots. Your actions are largely a reflection of your thoughts. If your mind is free, your actions will follow suit. The truth is that masturbation is harmful in many ways, regardless of how the world tries to normalize it. There are numerous negative physical and emotional effects, but the most serious is that it affects your relationship with God and gives the devil a foothold in your life. The guilt associated with masturbation is not worth it. Although we know that God forgives us when we ask, we cannot continue sinning and expect God's grace to be endless. You were saved to live above sin. You were set apart to live according to the new righteous nature you received. Sin should no longer dominate you. Why continue accepting sin when God has a better solution for you? This video is for those who have tried many times to overcome masturbation and ended up falling back. If you hate this addiction, stop fighting alone. Ask God for help and trust His word for your life. Don't give up, even when it seems hard. God has not given up on you and you will surely break free from the habit of masturbation, even if it takes time. Your freedom will come through God's word. If you're looking for ways to overcome masturbation and don't know where to start, here are some steps that may help. If you enjoyed this video and want more inspirational content, subscribe to our channel Sacred Revelations. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell to receive notifications of new videos. Don't forget to leave a like to help us spread this message to more people. Decide that you want to stop masturbating. This is the first step. Get to the point where you can't see yourself repeating the same action indefinitely. You need to be determined to quit masturbation. Be firm in your heart and will to stop. Discover your true identity through God's word. This is the second step and it's crucial. You need to understand who God's word says you are so that you can live that way. The devil will try to convince you that you can't overcome masturbation. He will do everything to distort your perception of your identity in Christ and fill your mind with deceptive thoughts. The only way to overcome this is to constantly focus on the truth about who God's Word says you are. Transformation begins in the mind before it manifests physically. If you don't know who you are, the devil can make you believe that being trapped in a habit is normal. The truth is that you are no longer a slave to it. Jesus has already paid the price for your freedom.
he paid your ransom, and nothing should control you again. The Bible says that if the Son sets you free, you are truly free. Jesus has already set you free, and nothing can change that. Take a moment to affirm, Jesus set me free, therefore I am truly free. Masturbation cannot control me, no addiction can control me, because God's Word says that the law of the Spirit of life has set me free from the law of sin and death. Sin cannot govern you, because Jesus set you free from it. You no longer have a sinful nature. Now you have God's righteous nature. The more you hold on to the truth in the Word, the more your mind will be transformed. The Bible teaches us to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. There is no better way to renew your mind than by studying God's Word. Your freedom is in God's Word. Your past actions do not define who you are. Only through God's Word can you discover who God has called you to be. God doesn't see you as an addict. He sees you as His child and has paid the price for your freedom. Being born again means you were born of God and have His DNA in your spirit. Therefore, you have God's nature in you. Study God's Word, confess it, and remember it whenever the devil tries to fill your mind with lies. Pray with faith. The next step is to pray with faith. The Bible teaches that the effective, fervent prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Your prayers make a difference. Don't believe the devil's lie that praying is a waste of time. That's a lie. When you pray with faith, mountains move and situations change. If you want to break free from masturbation, pay attention to prayer. It is through prayer that you affirm what God's Word says about you. When you pray, knowing who you are in Christ, everything you pray for comes to fruition. You pray with the assurance that Christ has already given you the victory. He has already set you free, and the devil is just trying to block that. Destroy the influence the devil has in your life through prayer. God wants you to be free. Partner with Him by insisting on God's Word in prayer. Remember, when you pray, things change. Have faith in God. Faith cannot be underestimated. It can be difficult to overcome masturbation on your own, and you need God's strength to do so. God's strength is made perfect in your weakness, and He can help you break free from this habit. Even if you are struggling, have faith that God can help you overcome this addiction and that He is willing to do so. If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will move mountains. Just a little faith is enough. Trust God with your weaknesses and allow Him to turn them into strengths. When you make a mistake, don't run away from God. Ask for His forgiveness and seek His help. Have faith in God. He will set you free. Cutting off the triggers is an essential and transformative step in breaking free from harmful habits. This is crucial because triggers are the specific cues or situations that often lead you to engage in behaviors you are trying to avoid. Triggers can be varied and deeply personal, ranging from certain visual stimuli, environments, or even emotional states that prompt you towards these actions. Eliminating your triggers is not just a suggestion, but a foundational principle in the journey toward personal freedom and transformation. Triggers act as powerful catalysts that can propel you back into unwanted behaviors, often before you even realize it. They are the cues, whether external or internal, that initiate a series of thoughts and actions leading to the behavior you're striving to overcome. Understanding and addressing your triggers can make the difference between succumbing to temptation and walking in the freedom that you desire. To effectively cut off your triggers, start by meticulously identifying what they are. This requires honest self-reflection and awareness of the circumstances that typically lead you to fall back into the behavior you want to change. For example, some common triggers might include watching movies or videos with explicit sexual content, reading certain types of literature that contain provocative material, or being in environments that encourage such behaviors. It could also involve interactions with specific people who may not support your journey towards freedom, or who might even encourage you to indulge in these behaviors.
Begin by keeping a detailed journal or a mental log of your daily activities and emotions. Note down the specific situations, environments, or emotional states that precede your urge to engage in the unwanted behavior. Are there particular times of day or specific places where you feel more vulnerable? Are there certain emotions, such as stress or loneliness, that trigger the behavior? The more precise and comprehensive your understanding of your triggers, the more effectively you can address them. This introspection might reveal that even seemingly innocuous activities, like browsing social media or listening to certain music, can be triggers for you. Once you have a clear understanding of your triggers, take proactive steps to eliminate or avoid them. This may mean making some significant changes in your lifestyle. For instance, you might need to stop consuming media that includes sexual content. This can include movies, TV shows, websites, or books that you know can stir up thoughts or feelings you are striving to overcome. Replace these with content that uplifts and supports your goals, such as inspirational videos, educational materials, or wholesome entertainment that aligns with your values. This step often requires more than a superficial adjustment. It may necessitate a fundamental shift in how you interact with the world around you. Consider curating your media consumption meticulously. For example, you might subscribe to platforms that offer clean, uplifting content or join communities that support your values and encourage your goals. By consciously choosing to engage with media that reinforces your commitment to positive change, you reduce the likelihood of encountering content that could lead you astray. This practice not only helps in avoiding triggers, but also reinforces a mindset that supports your overall journey towards freedom. Additionally, consider the environments you frequent. If there are specific places that lead you to be tempted or engage in negative behaviors, it might be necessary to avoid them altogether or find new, healthier places to spend your time. This could mean avoiding certain social gatherings, parties, or even reconsidering the nature of your online activity if it's a source of temptation. Similarly, be mindful of the company you keep. Surround yourself with supportive, like-minded individuals who respect your commitment to change and who will encourage you to stay on the right path. Your environment has a profound impact on your behavior and mental state. If certain places or settings consistently lead you to temptation, it may be time to seek out new spaces that foster a healthier lifestyle. This might involve finding new hangout spots that don't present the same risks or seeking out social activities that align with your values and goals. For instance, instead of attending gatherings where negative influences are prevalent, you might opt for community events, workshops, or religious gatherings that provide positive reinforcement. Similarly, evaluate your digital environment. If your online activity includes frequent exposure to potentially triggering content, consider setting boundaries or utilizing content filters to help you stay on track. It's also vital to recognize that triggers are not always external. Emotional states such as stress, boredom, loneliness, or depression can also act as triggers. Developing healthy coping mechanisms for these emotions is crucial. Engage in activities that promote your overall well-being, such as exercise, hobbies that you enjoy, or spending time with loved ones. Practicing mindfulness or meditation can also help you manage your emotional states more effectively and reduce the impact of internal triggers. Emotional triggers can be particularly challenging because they are often subtle and deeply ingrained. When you feel stressed, bored, lonely, or depressed, these emotions can lead you to seek comfort in familiar but unhealthy behaviors. To combat this, cultivate habits that promote emotional well-being and resilience. Regular physical activity, such as walking, jogging, or practicing yoga, can significantly boost your mood and help alleviate stress. Engage in hobbies and activities that bring you joy and satisfaction. This could be anything from reading, gardening, painting, or playing a musical instrument. Moreover, 
Invest in your relationships by spending quality time with friends and family who provide emotional support and understanding. Practices such as mindfulness and meditation can also equip you with tools to manage your emotional states more effectively. These techniques help you stay present, recognize emotional triggers as they arise, and respond in healthier ways. Remember, cutting off your triggers is not just about avoiding temptation, but about creating a new environment for yourself where positive habits can flourish. This is a powerful step towards achieving lasting change and embracing the freedom that Jesus has already won for you. Trust in His Word and believe that you have the strength and ability to make these changes. His truth has the power to set you free from the patterns that have held you back. By taking these steps with faith and determination, you can live a life that reflects the freedom and wholeness that God desires for you. Creating a new environment is about more than just removing the negative. It involves actively cultivating a space that supports your growth and transformation. This means surrounding yourself with positive influences, building new routines that reinforce your commitment to change, and continuously seeking ways to align your life more closely with your values and goals. Trust in the transformative power of Jesus' word and the strength that comes from faith. By making these conscious choices and changes, you position yourself and not just to avoid the old behaviors, but to embrace a new way of living that reflect the freedom and fullness of life that intends for you. His truth is a powerful force for change, capable of breaking down the barriers that have kept you bound and opening the path to a renewed, liberated life. May God bless you abundantly as you take these steps towards transformation and freedom. Believe in the power of His Word and His promise that you are truly.